Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, just a quick one, I'm going to show you how to enable Quick Sync for your Intel onboard graphics in Adobe Premiere. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so intro out of the way. Uh, long story short, got a new motherboard, new processor, and now I have the ability to add Quick Sync to my Adobe Premiere timelines to make things quicker, rendering, etc., etc. If you have a Intel processor, which is not one of the F SKUs, the F SKUs basically don't have integrated graphics, then pretty much most of the Intel processors of the last few years, uh, almost a decade now, I guess, will support the quick sync function in Adobe Premiere Pro and other software titles as well. So this can speed up your rendering, etc., etc. Now to find out if you've actually got quick sync or if you've got the actual igpu enabled you can either go into your boss or go into device manager and go into display adapters and you can see here we've got both our graphics cards so we've got our geforce rtx 3060 ti that's our primary graphics adapter but also the intel uhd graphics 770 is also enabled and working it's not got any exclamation marks or anything like that so that means that both are available to the system if yours doesn't look like this then you may need to enable the onboard graphics in your BIOS. If you're not too sure, please feel free to reach out in the Discord or in the chat, and I'll try and help you out as best I can. If I get enough requests, then maybe I'll make a dedicated video on how to enable the onboard graphics for Intel chipsets, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, moving on. So we've got both of those enabled. So the next thing to do is to open up Adobe Premiere. Now, I would normally do this from a shortcut, which I've got on my desktop here. So this is Adobe Premiere Pro 2023 edition. And what you want to do is head over into file first of all, make sure you've got your settings right here. So in your project settings, go to general and make sure here in the renderer, you have the appropriate one for your system. So if you're using AMD, it will say something about AMD graphics cards. If you're using Nvidia, then it will also say GPU acceleration CUDA. If you're just using the Intel on board and that is it, then you should find this is automatically enabled anyway, so don't worry about that too much. But anyway, just if you've got an NVIDIA graphics card, which if you're a video editing, you probably have anyway, so make sure that is selected. So click OK there. To enable Quick Sync, we want to go over to the Edit tab on the top here, so click Edit, and then we're going to go down to Preferences, then slide on down into Media, and at the bottom, so in this section here, we've got the H.264 and uh, HVVC, Hardware Accelerated Decoding, you should really have that ticked and also the one underneath. So encoding and decoding. And you've probably got two options here. So you've got NVIDIA and you've got Intel. So if this isn't ticked, put a tick box by it, click OK. And then basically it will automatically try and render using your graphics card primarily, but it will also try and use the IGPU also. Now in order to find out if it's doing that, you can do Alt Control Delete or just bring up Task Manager and you can see which GPUs are being used whilst rendering. Uh, you'll probably see that it's about 25% of it is being done with the Intel and your graphics card is probably going to be slammed at 100% if you're using Nvidia or AMD. So the Quick Sync does give a little bit of an extra boost to rendering times, at least it has cut down on mine. So anyway, that is how to enable it. If you want to disable it for some reason, you can do there or if you just want to use Quick Sync only and maybe you're doing other things and you want to use your graphics card for gaming whilst rendering, then you could do that as well. So whichever way you want to do it, but essentially that is how to enable or disable your Intel onboard graphics for rendering in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, smash the like button. And if you want to see more content on a daily basis, hit that subscribe button and the chime notification, and you'll be notified of all future video releases. So that's going to wrap things up. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.